is it ever okay to cheat? I'm immediately going to say no, right? No. Is it ever okay to cheat? No. Would you stay with For the people that are saying yes, I'm, I'm curious as to what scenario it would be okay to cheat. Someone who cheated on you. Um, yeah. But it's not okay to cheat. Wait, no. she just said she would stay with somebody that cheated on her? But it's not okay to cheat. No, but if, if they... No, it's not okay to cheat, but without hesitation, you say you would take somebody back that cheated on you. Why? Is it ever okay to cheat? Um, <laughs> oh, wow. No, I'm not good with that. Never, ever, ever, ever. No, not in any circumstance. What's cheating? So you lie about what you're doing, where you are, what your feelings are. You're letting your partner feel like they mean nothing to you. That is not cheating. <laughs> That is not cheating. What the fuck was that definition of cheating? That is not cheating. Cheating is when you are with someone and you're loyal to them and you break that loyalty by getting with or flirting with someone else whilst you're dating an individual or married to them. Flirting is cheating. If this is my take, if you are talking to someone and you flirt with other people actively, that may not necessarily be cheating. That's odd, but it's not cheating. If you are dating someone and you flirt with someone else, that's cheating. I'm dating Brooke. I would not flirt with another woman. That would be cheating. If you don't think that's cheating, that's very odd. That's very odd because then like, where's the line drawn? Kissing, physical activity, sending of things. Like what's the, no. Uh, what about another man? Okay, well, I'm not, I'm not into men is what I'm Oh my God. Yes, that would still be cheating. If you got with another man, yes, that would still be cheating. Getting with any other human other than the person that you're dating is cheating. If you're like with, if you're dating somebody and you're actively flirting this up with somebody else, that's cheating. When you're in the talking stage, that's kind of when it's iffy, right? Because you're not necessarily loyal to one another yet. But when you're dating, no. What do you constitute as cheating? Relying on somebody else for something that we exclusively rely on each other for. I feel like that's not just it though, because that only that only is kind of encompassing physical things. That's a better definition though than the other guy. The other guy didn't even define cheating. To me, it's emotional cheating. It can be physical. I think it's not the action, but rather like the emotion behind it. Girls no, it's the action too. No, no, but babe, I wasn't into her. No, babe, I wasn't into her though. No, there, there was no emotion. It was just the action. Oh, but I'm not in love with her. I'm not in love with her. I'm in love with you, babe. No, that's still fucking cheating. What if you get sexually assaulted? Is that cheating? No, because that's not under your own fucking willpower. That's against your will. That would immediately mean that you did not want to do it. Uh, I think cheating, whether it's like micro cheating or like cheating. My che take is if you want to get with other people, or flirt with other people while you're actively dating someone, fucking leave them. If you say, oh no, but I'm still in love with them, you're not. If you, if you say you're in love with somebody, but you also coincidentally want to get with other people, then you're not in love with them. Like that, that would mean that you're not in love with them. That would mean that you don't want to be with them. Unless you're in like uh, a non-monogamous relationship and you're, you're like both poly about that and you can be with other people but that's a very rare relationship there are yeah what about a polyamorous people that's different but you go into a relationship saying that if you're getting into a re polyamorous relationship if you don't know what that is that's when two people are dating and they're actively allowed to be with other people that's something you would voice at the start of a relationship if you start dating somebody somebody you never mention that you are not physically only attracted to one individual and you start fucking other people you can't turn around and be like uh but i'm polyamorous like no like no you have to say you have to say that going into it you both have to be okay with it at the start one of my exes would say that i cheated what did you do had an encounter with a mutual friend while we were both incredibly intoxicated and i don't No, the cheating doesn't count because I was drunk. No, nah, it still counts. Like, yeah, oh, you you would have a better a better excuse than somebody that wasn't drunk. But it's still it's not it's still cheating. 
Oh, I was drunk, so it's not cheating. Now it's still cheating. I don't consider incredible intoxication to be consensual, so I don't think I cheated, but she thinks that I cheated. Definitely. She's saying she doesn't consider incredible intoxication to be cheating. If both parties are blackout drunk, I would still say that even if, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, when you're blackout drunk, you shouldn't, like, any sort of fucking sexual encounter that you're having would not be all there because you're not even going to remember what the fuck happened. But you're still putting yourself in the scenario and getting yourself that drunk around people that you would still be attracted. Even if you're blackout drunk, you're still attracted to that person, right? Like, you're still, you're still thinking actively about doing that. Because, like, I've seen people get blackout drunk that have boyfriends and girlfriends. They don't even get near anybody else. They'll fuck around and be stupid, but they're not like, I want to fuck this person now because I would, I would still feel, I don't know. I don't know. What if I can't control myself? Then don't get blackout drunk. Like, yeah, like the first time somebody gets blackout drunk. Okay. Like you've never been blackout drunk before, but like, then why would you get yourself that drunk? I don't know. That's an iffy scenario. Yeah, I think like a kiss you could definitely forgive. Anything kissing and beyond. Uh, it's, it's like a kiss is nothing. I just kissed another girl. A kiss is nothing. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, nah, here's this. Here's this. Here's this. You're dating a girl. This is, this, you're dating a girl. I'm going to paint out a scenario. You're dating a girl. You're at a party. She's with her friends. She kisses her friend. Is that cheating? They're friends. They're not attracted to each other, but she kisses her friend. A girl kissing another girl. Is that cheating? I would say no. A lot of guys might say yes. Now, let me flip it. You have a girlfriend. You're drunk with your friends. You kiss one of your male friends. Is that cheating? You're not attracted to them. It's You're both drunk. It's a joke. You kiss another one of your friends. Is that cheating? See, now there's way more no's. See, like, isn't that a bit odd how you're saying more yeses for one and then more no's for the other? I think cheating is just cheating. I think if, like, you let some girl kiss you and you fuck a girl, I'm not gonna care. I'm gonna leave you either way. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought she was about to say she ain't give a fuck. Would you stay with someone who cheated on you? No. I have too much self-respect. What if they got really drunk and they, they kissed someone, but it meant nothing? Um, maybe if we were like six months to a year into the relationship, I would accept that. If we I were would married. still, bro, I would be pissed, pissed, pissed. There's no scenario where I'm going to just wipe that shit off. Yeah. Okay. You were drunk. No, like I'm going to be like, bro, you initiate, if you initiated that shit, I'm going to be fucking done. I would be heated. No, 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 never, ever. Um, no. No. I, I don't think it is. Under any circumstance? Mm -hmm. Probably not. No. You hesitated. Um, I understand why people cheat. I think typically people are not satisfied with uh, their current situation. Why'd you cheat? Then leave them. Then leave them. What the fuck is cheating? Cheating doesn't solve anything. It's just a, it's, it's just a sexual desire. It's, it's not feeling a complete sexually. So you go out and you cheat on them. It's not fulfilling anything. It's, it's just an emotional thing. Like, I think like people, people that cheat, in my opinion, are not there mentally for what a relationship actually is because a relationship is so much past sexual shit. It's so much past that. It's an emotional bonding, like a genuine attraction to the other person as they are as an individual. If you're deeming a relationship and somebody you're with just as a sexual flirtatious thing, it, you're on, you're in the earlier stage of what recognizing a relationship is. Like I was there at one point, like when I was younger and it was the first relationships I was in. It was like, yeah, mainly you were just, you, you were sexually attracted to the person you were with, but I still wouldn't cheat on them. If you want to cheat on them, you just leave. I think I just wasn't getting enough attention from the person I was seeing. Talk to them about it. Talk to them about it. Hey. I have these concerns. Can we work on this? Fine to cheat, right? No. I say that as a cheater, like, no. Why did you cheat? They were ultimately gonna leave me anyway. Yo, and people I on TikTok that brag about cheating are fucking losers. I'm gonna say that right now. I've been seeing so many TikToks recently. Motherfuckers bragging about cheating and shit. Like, what? How are you proud of that? Like, yeah, I get it. Like, okay, you're doing it. I understand your motivation behind it. But like, fuck. Like, you're going to sit there and be proud of it? You're proud of the fact that you cheat on your significant others. Why? 
And then that like, and then how would somebody willingly get in a relationship with you after they, like, if I saw a video of a girl and she was bragging about cheating, like what man would watch that video and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get with her now. Like, no, like I would never date her ever. Like, even if she made the video fucking 10 years prior, I'd be like, no, she's like, she's just bragging about cheating. Oh my God. Is that, is that a G Fuel shaker cup tagged in the bottom left below? Get it? Back to the vid. I wasn't like worthy of it, so I needed something to like fall back on so I could pretend like, oh, it doesn't hurt. Do you regret it? Um, yeah, every single day. Like, but wouldn't the relationship have ended anyways? Um, we're actually, they we're still together, so <laughs> would you stay with someone who if you had a partner that cheated on you, would you ever take them back? I would need to know in 99.99% .99 of scenarios, I would say no. I would need to, I would want to know that in any scenario where you would get cheated on, I would want to know the scenario. Is there a 0.01% scenario where I would be like, okay, and then deal with it? Yeah. But like, that would be one in a million. That would be like, okay, I need to know why I would need it. It would be like the perfect lineup of, okay, this happened. I tried. I had planned that this was the person I was going to be with. I was terrified of like what life would look like without this. And it ended up being like three more years of hell. Is it ever okay to cheat? No, mm -hmm. not for me. They had sex with Shakira. I think we might be able to stay together. Why? Well, I was thinking like if I had sex with Michael B. Jordan, then I feel like I'd want them to be okay with it. <laughs> Is it ever no, I, the idea of having having a celebrity cop out in the relationship aggravates me. Never, not allowed. Nope, don't care. Don't care if you meet fucking Miley Cyrus. I don't care if you meet fucking Hulk Hogan or whoever the fuck you want to have sex with. Nope, nope. Like yeah, if if like I'm pitying. Brooks never said this, but if Brooke was like, yeah, let's do celebrity cop outs. Mine's Jason Momoa. I'd be like, that motherfucker looks nothing like me. Now, if she said Joe Burrow, I'd be like, okay. I'd be like, okay, Joe Burrow, ki blonde, blonde white guy, kind of looks like me. Like, I'd be like, okay. I, but at that point, why even have sex with Joe Burrow? Like, that, even, that ain't even making sense to me. Like, no, if they look different than you, that's even weirder. No, no, nope. The way I see it, if you, like, really love someone, you would never cheat. If you, like, have the desire to cheat, like, at that point, you're pretty much done with the relationship. I feel like you should always at least communicate, like, if you want to end it before. Try an open relationship or something. There's so many avenues before you could cheat. Is it ever okay to cheat? No. That said, have I done it? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you cheat? Because I didn't know how to end the relationship. I only told him I cheated to, like, make him not want to be with me anymore. If you want to go have sex with someone, talk about it. But, like, just say you don't want to be with them anymore. It's okay to cheat sometimes because I think sometimes people can't get out of relationships. Well, why not just break up with the person before you cheat? Super easy to say, but we can't always do that. Like, what if you're stuck? Why not? Like, yeah, it's an awkward convo. Bro, even a quick text is better. Hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. We're done. Bye. Yeah, it sucks, but it's still better than cheating. Sometimes people are stuck in really fucked up relationships. I tell, like, my mom <laughs> that if she cheats on my dad, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> Why? Um, I'm not the biggest fan of my dad. Have you ever been cheated on? Yo, I have you not. tell your mom that she could cheat on her dad, on your dad? I have been jealous of people that my partners have been around. I'd say there's, like suspicion but like nothing concrete have you been cheated on i've been cheated on yeah or kind of lied to what was the lie uh that she wasn't talking to her ex my ex was actually in love with his ex during like most of our relationship i guess that's sort of cheating um i found out after we had broken up so it was just like fuck you again <laughs> is it ever okay to cheat I'm laughing because I recently got cheated on. He hooked up with someone. To my understanding, it was like two nights when I was asleep. Ooh, did you stay with him? Yeah. We're in couples counseling. We're working on it. Have you cheated or- Bro! Nah! Nah, 
Bravo. W partner, bro. I would not. Like, bro, you get the couples counseling beforehand, though. Like, what? I've been cheated on. I hate that question. Because I have cheated once. I got too cocky. I don't know. I felt like I was a shit, so I was like, might as well do it. Then why did you do it? The thrill, it feels good. I'm just a simple man, you know? Have you been cheated on? I have been cheated on. I guess I wasn't as confident as I thought because I was like, let me look at the phone. Tinder is on the phone, so you don't think it's gonna happen to you, I guess, but it also is super common, so why would I think Yeah, if you're dating somebody and you got a dating app on your phone, that's already whack. If you're dating, like, I would immediately assume, okay, yeah, they're cheating. If you like, even if there's like that offshoot scenario, bro, you get on somebody's phone. Yeah. Why do you have Tinder? We've been dating for fucking six months. I'd be like, yeah, that's whack. Would you stay with someone who cheated on you? I don't know. I guess it would depend on the circumstance. Life is really messy. Depends on how long it's been going on. How I find out probably matters. I know that he's a good person. So if he makes a mistake, I know that people make yeah, mistakes. Telling you for any chance of of the relationship to be onward after the cheating, the partner would have to tell you. If they if you found out without them telling you, it's already over. But if they come to you and they're like, I cheated, that would be more so them owning up and feeling bad about it rather than it being a secret. You're madly in love with someone. You've been with them for a while. Mm -hmm. They cheat. Do you stay with them? No. 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 <laughs> I don't think I could. I think my trust would be really shattered afterwards. I can't, because it's not the same trust, not the same bond, it's a different person. Is it ever okay to cheat? Um, no, no. Would you stay with someone who cheated on you? Um, yeah, I'm pretty forgiving. But it's not okay to cheat? No, but if, if they could actually express that they are sorry and they can find- I did date a girl one time that told me that if I cheated on her, she wouldn't care. And I remember being like, like, why? Like, I remember being confused. Like, that's odd. Yeah, now my chat's talking about her shirt. So now we have to fucking fast forward because my chat's being a bunch of wackos. Like, you don't get a pass, but if you cheat and then you come back and you're like, here's how this happened, here's what I learned from it, then we can, yeah, we can work with that. It would take talking. It would take a lot of talking. If someone cheated on you, would you stay with them? Oh yeah, I have. Oh. Someone cheated on me for an, a, an extremely long amount of time and didn't tell me that I found out Then it was a lot of like, no, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I didn't mean to. Uh, we dated for like another year after the cheating. Why did you stay with them? Oh, uh, because he lied and told me that it wasn't true, and I just wanted to believe it. It won't happen again, that it was didn't mean anything. Did it happen again? Yeah. Would you stay with someone who cheated on you? Like, I would like to say that I wouldn't, because I'm, like, a strong, independent woman, but I've definitely stayed with men that have been unfaithful to me. Why? I was really comfortable and probably just like afraid of what my life looked like without them because for a while they were my life. Relationships are Match more password to person. Yeah, that's what the fuck is that video? Oh yeah, that's actually my bank password. Uh, I don't know if you should be talking about that. Or we gotta add that to watch later. I ain't watching that today. All right, next video. <laughs> Thank you.